So I have like one, two, two days left, I would say, in the Texas. And it's time to just get some last minute things done. Right, Jeannie? That's right. That's right. That's right. I need my stuff. So the weather outside is literally perfect. I don't even think I need this light jacket, but we will see. It's about hourly temperature. Will range from 75 to 57. Not bad. Not bad at all, Texas. I just got a TV. Nothing is really set up yet, but that's gonna be one of the first things I do when I get back to New York. My father is experimenting with the cutting the cord, they say, they call it. Cutting the cable yes, or something. Cutting the cord. Cutting the cord, where you know you don't have to go through all the different companies to get all of your channels. Um, and he's just got quite a set up here. Uh, basically, I have an Apple TV, so all I need really is Netflix and YouTube to survive, but it would be nice to have the main four channels for sports ball stuff. Sports ball stuff, yes. <laughs> I don't understand what all of these things are, though. So this is my HD antenna. Very okay. simple, very small. Yes. It costs $40 or something like that. It's a Moho Leaf. It connects to this device, which is called a Tableau. Okay. It's a TV DV DVR, so it's DVRing everything from over-the-air channels onto this hard drive. Oh. This is a switch for the overall network, and then this is the wireless router. Oh. Ooh, so you don't need them. I don't need them. You hear that, Dish? Cutting the cord. He don't need you. All right, maybe I can title this Cutting the Cord 2016, get all the views. <clears throat> or, oh. Jamie. Oh! <laughs> These are the first pair of sunglasses that I've owned that aren't $15 Target sunglasses. And it all started with Jeannie's Christmas present. Look how fly she looks in her Ray-Bans. They had this special thing that was like, what was it? It was like, oh, buy one, off. save this much money yeah. on the second one. Yeah. Lucky you got $75 oh, God, yeah, and it was, yeah, it was like $75 off. And it was just one of those things <laughs> where I was like, hmm. Which makes it half price. Yeah, so it's basically half price. Uh, I just couldn't pass it up, you know. So now we're both hip a hop a mm -hmm. with some ray -bons. Yeah. This is South Lake Times Square, where people will come to shop, come with the fam, share holiday cheer. It's fun and festive. Santa's Village is here. The Gap. Super suburbia. Oh my gosh, are you surprising me with my new car? Yeah. Oh, you found out. I found it. There's my new car, guys. Beautiful. South Lake, Texas, the only place that has more Land Rovers and Mercedes boxes. What are those called? Mercedes, the boxes. What are those? G Wagons. The only place with more Land Rovers and Mercedes G Wagons in New York City. Gotta eat as much Tex-Mex as possible. These chips and salsa. Never have enough queso. It's John. And his favorite shirt. And Jeannie. And yeah, you've been wearing that shirt in every single video pretty much. It's a lucky shirt. Where'd you get that? eBay. eBay. He shops on eBay. It's a child's large. More Mexican food. I've, I'm so full. I needed to stuff my face one more time with Tex-Mex, but I am just so over food right now. No more food. More green stuff. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw a movie in the theaters that was so insanely inspiring, so motivating, so beautiful that I'm going to go see it again tonight. That movie is La La Land. I can't put into words how amazing it is. I want to talk a little bit about it, but I want it to be fresh in my mind. Uh, so I'm actually going to movie theaters with Jeannie. I'm going to see it for a second time. Ugh, I'm all kinds of excited. So I'll see you guys after the movie. Okay. Okay, so it's the next day. I just can't. I was so emotionally distraught last night from seeing La La Land the second time. I just didn't. I didn't talk to the camera, but now I am. A very brief review slash word about La La Land. It is a movie that is now in my top three all-time favorite 
movies. Yes, maybe it is a little chick flicky because it is around the love story of Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone. I am just so obsessed with them as characters. If you've seen Crazy Stupid Love, you know they have crazy stupid chemistry and that shows in this movie. It's part of the reason why you fall in love so much with the characters. You just become so enthralled with their relationship. Holy smokes, this film is beautiful. Like aesthetically, it is so stunning. Um, just the colors and the sets and the lighting and the music. You know guys that I love music. It's probably, I would say music is like my number one all time favorite thing in the world. And the way they use music in this movie is just so brilliant and it just pulls on your heartstrings and the certain themes and the certain um, piano songs that are associated with the two main characters and associated with certain themes, you just get so involved in it. And I've listened to the soundtrack so many times. There's dancing and there's singing in this movie. And honestly, the opening song and the opening number, I was just like, okay, all right, if this is if this is it, I am happy for spending the $10 on the movie. I would have been happy if the movie just ended there. I would have been like, awesome, fantastic. It was that good. When you watch it from a filmmaking standpoint, it is just, oh, it's eye candy. It's almost as if the camera acts as like a character. And so typically in movies today, they'll have, you know, a wide lens and a tight lens and they'll switch in between those two cameras for different angles. But this movie, it almost looks like it is all shot just with one camera. And instead of cutting to a new camera angle to get a tighter shot of someone's face, they'll purposely move the camera to that angle or something. And just the camera movement, oh, the way they follow characters, it was purposeful and it was elegant and it was just butter. Usually when you see those hipster movies, that look so cool you get caught up in how cool they look and you focus on that and then the story doesn't really compete with how aesthetically beautiful it is but la la land is one of those movies where the lighting the music the camera work the everything was perfectly complemented with a brilliant story and brilliant cast and it was just it was amazing I just stroke after stroke, stroke on the smoke. Man, I just wanna go fast. I wanna introduce you guys to someone. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello. My name's Addy. My name's Tina. You've probably seen this video. It's explain it. Like so we danced mannequin heads on our head. Yeah, we did like he did, did Juju on the beat and uh, 24 karat gold and Target. And Target, yeah, all on for Christmas. Yeah, went. I don't know if you've seen it, but probably crazy <laughs> viral. <laughs> crazy viral. So they live in Texas. Um, and yes, I slid into the DMs. It yeah. was like, we toast need to hang out when I'm back for Christmas. And so my question is, how did this even start? We saw a video of a girl doing it with like dancing with heads on around Halloween time. We were like, you know what, we should try that. And we, we picked Heathens and we did it and it blew up. It was the day. <laughs> yeah. So 20, the 21 Pilots video is the first one yeah. that took off. That was funny. Yeah. I so basically so they put this in a hoodie or something. I can demonstrate. And with please you. demonstrate. It's not a hoodie, but it'll suffice. Yes. So imagine this is a hood. <laughs> <laughs> and Addy, will you be my assistant? <laughs> I'll, I'll hold this yeah. one. Hold Felicia. Yeah. That's Gladys, actually. This that's, is Felicia. Is this Felicia? Yeah, it says it in the bottom. She's a nun. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> can you imagine what this looks like? Just it's, from. It's kind of great. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, you get the that's the general idea. And the thing is, they're legit dancers, and so it's, true. it's hilarious it's because there's literally a mannequin head on top of their head, but it's good dancing, <laughs> and they go they go into places like Target, and yeah, it's just great. Please go watch. I'll I'll leave the link. The link's in the description. You need to go watch all their videos because it's amazing. Do you have anything anything to say to the Peachy fam? Um, you guys are cool. Sarah's the jam. Wow. Yeah, she's so sweet. Oh my gosh, I could die. We're all gonna be BFFs. We're gonna we're gonna um Yes. We're gonna race to a million subscribers. I think y'all yep. are gonna get there first. Uh, but okay. we'll we'll it's see about it. <laughs> Freaking Chelsea. Look at what she made. A little jacket. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Uh oh, there's a bug. And so this is just from your... Explain to me vinyl. what that is again. It's vinyl and it was heat pressed. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I never seen something so bright like the sky. Always got me. Oh my gosh, I never seen something so beautiful and rare. Let me breathe your air, baby. This needs to be like a peachy, an exclusive peachy, uh, like sell five of these. $500 each. $500 each? <laughs> I dig it. I love it so much. Profit. Oh my gosh, look where I am. So this is my old middle school. Oh, it looks so much smaller. I'll be waiting for you. I just drove by here because, fun fact, I went to middle school and high school with some famous people. I live in Grapevine, Texas. I actually went to the same school as Jenna Dewan, who is a super talented actress and dancer. She's also married to Channing Tatum, so I guess she's technically Jenna Dewan Tatum. She went to Grapevine. Chip Gaines from Fixer Upper, if you know who Joanna and Chip Gaines are. And the last two people is really why I even brought it up, because it's kind of special. What's happening right now is Post Malone. So Post Malone, Austin Mahone, actually was the grade below me, and he went to Grapevine High School. If you do not know who Post Malone is, holy crap. He is such a talented hip-hop artist slash rapper. Um, he does a lot, like his music is very diverse, um, but he actually just got done touring with Justin Bieber. He was the grade below me at Grapevine High School. I remember him kind of as the guy with the long curly hair who like always had a guitar in his arm, and so it's so cool to see him absolutely killing it out there. Austin, post, post, post. I didn't know you, so I won't call you Austin. Post, you are killing it. If you have not listened to his new album that just dropped, listen to it. You probably know the song White Iverson. That's kind of what put him on the map, and now he is just slaying out in the world of hip hop, and he knows all the people. Special Texas shout out to him. Go listen to his music. <laughs> and the reason why I'm here at my middle school is a few months ago, Demi Lovato dropped a music video to one of her songs um, that is just, oh, it's pretty savage. I guess it's kind of a shot towards the people who bullied her. She was a few grades ahead of me, but we went to the same middle school. And in this music video, it's just, it's very like in your face and like look at me now, I guess. Um, it's a dope song, I, I love the song. But she filmed it like on the track over here at Cross Timbers Middle School and then also filmed it just like walking around the building. And the last frame of the music video is her walking away from the middle school and you see you see the name of the middle school in the background so I'm like dang Demi pretty savage anyways I just thought those were some fun facts it's it's cool to see Texas homies out there killing it in the world uh, and I just I lost my ish when I saw that Demi Lovato video and just her dragging cross Timbers middle school Ooh, funny funny stuff don't bully people I don't know if she was really bullied, but if she was, Demi, I'm sorry that happened. I had a way better experience at CTMS, so CTMS, thank you for some good years. Um, but yeah, woo, go Texas! Feeling super nostalgic, last day in Texas, sitting in the parking lot of my middle school, doesn't get any better than that, right? Um, but back to New York City, stoked for 2017. I keep saying that, but ooh, there is some cool stuff coming up and I'm just pretty excited. Thanks for watching. If you have not yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know if you like this video, and until next time, stay peachy. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I hope you had the merriest of Christmases, and I wish you a very happy new year. I wanted to share with you my top five Christmas presents. Number one, a Nest security camera. You can link it up with your phone and get sent push notifications if any motion is detected when you are not home. Number two is a away carry-on suitcase. It's